you have a couple of screwdrivers and a garden hose, you can get this job done. A while back I made a video where I showed how to clean all the dust out of a Lasco tower fan and I ran into some issues that I didn't anticipate. We did a pretty good job and I'll link the video down below but one of the problems was I couldn't take it apart the way I had intended because I ran into some strange looking screws. Now these are called spanner screws. I had never seen them before. The slot does not go all the way through. And I got all kinds of comments. Some people said, Mark, you idiot, you've never seen that before. Others were far more kind and explained what they were to me. The real strange thing is some of the screws were Phillips head and some were the spanner head. So what I did is I ordered a set of spanner screwdrivers. Let me show you. It looks like this and I ordered a set off of Amazon. I got five screwdrivers for around 10 or 11 dollars. I'll include the link down below in case you want to give this a try. The fun thing about doing projects like this is every time you pick up a new tool before long you have a pretty good collection of tools. Now you might be asking yourself why should I buy a new tool? just to clean this. Well, I assume you're gonna be cleaning this more than once. This got pretty dirty. It's going to get dirty again. So I figure I might as well have the right tool. So in a year or however long it takes before it gets dirty and dusty again, I can repeat this operation. So let's get started. So this is the Lasco tower fan. And you can see the problem. Now right in there, it does get dusty. Now this isn't so bad because I can just take a toothbrush or something and uh, I can get in there and clean most of that out. Where the problem lies is when we get into these blades. And there's blades in there and they're very difficult to get to and very difficult to clean. So I'm going to see if I can open it up and make this job easier. So as I said, it's kind of strange because there was a spanner screw in there and there's a Phillips head in there. So we're going to open up these four to start with. And then there's also two here by the handle. We remove two screws here, two screws here, and two there. And strangely enough, as I said, two of them were this strange type, the spanner. You see that, I don't know how well you'll see that, but that's right here. And I always keep things like that on a magnet. That way I can just stick it to the side of my table, wherever I am, and those things aren't gonna roll away. But two of them were the spanner, and four of them were regular Phillips. The other thing I'd say is this is pretty deep, these two at the top. You'll need at least a four inch long blade or you won't reach down there. And after that, boy, it's a lot easier than last time I did this. So now we have access to these blades and that dust is actually stuck on there pretty tight. So what I have is the brush that I use to clean the spokes on my motorcycle and the wheels on my car. And I think this will do a good job. Yeah, that's working real well. You can see these couple that have been cleaned compared to these that haven't. So I'll just continue on. It'll take me about five minutes, I think, to get through all of these blades. And you can see there's a lot of dust inside this basket. That's great. So I'm gonna go over that with the brush as well. Some of you who are a big fan of tools are gonna to cringe at what I show you next. But this is only about a $10 set of screwdrivers. But I found out the spanner screwdriver works perfectly for cleaning off those blades. Let me show you. So all I need to do is take that spanner screwdriver and just run it back and forth like that. And it really gets that dust off. 
it really came clean just by scraping and brushing. So this next part that I'm going to do, you really don't have to, but I happen to have an air compressor. So I'm just going to blow it all out to make sure all that dust I just knocked loose is out of the system. Then I'm gonna take the basket, the back that I removed, and I'm gonna hose it off really good just to get some of that loose dust. As I said, I don't think you'd have to do that, but as long as I have it apart, it'll only take another three or four minutes. And you can see all the dust that's been knocked free just by doing the brushing and the scraping. I'm finding out more and more. You don't have to do what I'm gonna show you now either, but it's a way to get this thing super clean. I found out that you can remove that entire barrel of fins. Right here is a bracket and it's only held in place by two Phillips head screws. And then down here, this screw just has to be loosened. It doesn't have to be completely taken out and that will make this be able to slide off that shaft. So now we can pick this up and that bracket comes off the end. And then the whole thing can be slid right off. You're just gonna have to trust me. With two hands it's really easy to slide loose and there don't appear to be any bearings or anything on this. It's a little grease in that end, but that's from the shaft. So I think it'll be fine to hose this off. Now let me show you the housing in there. I'm glad I did this because I can get this wiped out now too. And look at all the dust in that housing. So I'm going to take the opportunity to wipe all of that down. Look at all that dust. And this was already cleaned once. So I hose those off, and while they're drying in the sun, I am going to clean up these front vents. And this should be a relatively easy job. All I'm going to do is take my brush, and I'm gonna run it over the front, and as much as I can over the back. And you can see how nice and clean this got. I brushed it off, and then just wiped it down with a damp paper towel. So it's really nice and clean inside this housing. There's something I want to show you when you put that fan blade column back in. Right there in the shaft of the motor you can see there is a flat part. It's really important because that set screw has to be right there on that flat part. If it's not it may slip. And look how clean that is. Can you believe it? There's barely a speck of dust on this thing. This is what I was talking about. The set screw has to be lined up with the flat part of the shaft. And on this side, that bearing swivels a little bit. So we want to make sure that bearing is straight before we slide that onto the shaft. So all we need to do is pick that up, slide it on, and then screw the bracket down back in place. And there it is on place. Now I'm going to replace these two Phillips screws. Now what I'm gonna do, I don't recommend. I'm going to turn it on before I put the back on just to make sure it works because I don't wanna reassemble the whole thing and have it not work. However, that column with the fan blades is exposed. So I am going to say, don't do what I'm about to do. So there it goes, smooth as silk. And this back is really clean too, hosing it off really did the job. Now this cover does snap into place before you put all the screws back in. What you might think about is maybe replacing these with regular Phillips screws so you don't have to monkey with that spanner screwdriver if you ever want to take it out again. I don't know how well you can see this but this is super clean. There's not a spot of dust in there and I feel really good about bringing this into my house and using it. Let's see how it works. Oh, I see I forgot to get a little bit of the dirt off from when I screwed it back together. I'll fix that in a minute. Let's see how the oscillation works. There we go. Everything works just Jim Dandy. Once I got to the part, I decided I could probably do without the air compressor. So if you have a couple of screwdrivers and a garden hose, you can get this job done. 
I hope you have good luck with it. I think it's a vast improvement over the last time I cleaned it. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel.